What does this word have to do with the history of Ghana, Netherlands, and Indonesia? To answer that, come with us on our very first episode of Is everything says the diaper bag? I got it. Oh, energy electric taking us higher. We're in a zone. About 10 kilometers after passing the Winnebra roundabout in the direction of Cape Coast, we had some car trouble. Luckily for us, we parked right in front of a local fitting shop. And after some deliberation and back and forth, we decided, you know what, it might be a better idea to leave the car for them to fix. And then we headed off to Lemon Beach in a taxi. We had some exploring to do outside the resort, so we definitely needed our car fixed. Yeah, hello. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we are Nice. But you're um, a German watcher, say, and uh, okay, what can you be? Uh, I am not I am so kind. I so kind. I cry. Hey. And that loosely translates to, it's going to take longer than we thought. Being on a vacation, this means we just have to make the most of our time before we get it back. So we're going for a little afternoon walk with this gentleman strapped behind me. And he's trying to sing himself to sleep. We like it. As a family that wants to make travel a part of our routine, choosing a place that suits us is very important. And Lemon Beach lived up to that. The resort provides guests with a plethora of activities they can indulge in inside the resort grounds or for explorers like us outside in the Elmina town or even nearby Cape Coast. But we couldn't go out until we had our car back. The expected time of delivery went from 2 p.m. at the latest to after 9 p.m. And then when he eventually brought the car, he had broken more than he fixed. door handle is gone so a new cost to bear but at least we had our car back after breakfast we found out there wasn't a guide available to take us on a bike tour so we decided to explore the Elmina town Elaine suggested the Elmina Java Museum which I had never heard of and so by default I was a tad skeptical but still went along and boy was I glad I did <laughs> we found out about a part of Ghana's history which would have been hidden until this woman, Dr. Ineka van Kessel, for her research. Merchants, missionaries, migrants brought it to light. Let's learn some history, shall we? The Dutch had been trading in the coast of Guinea since 1598, along with the Portuguese who had settled in the Gold Coast since 1471. However, the Battle of Elmina saw the Dutch West India Company take control of Fort Elmina from the Portuguese in 1637, after they had failed to do so in 1625. From 1637 to 1872, 
the Dutch had trade relations with the Gold Coast, dealing in gold, ivory, slaves and cocoa in exchange for weapons, textiles and consumer products. But who are the Black Dutchmen and Indo-Africans? Between 1825 and 1830 during the Java War, the Dutch colonial army had a shortage of soldiers after losing about 8,000 soldiers which had shrunk their national reservoir considerably. After struggling to find backup, they decided to turn to their neglected outposts on the coast of Guinea due to the abolishment of slave trade in 1814. These outposts were not commercially viable anymore, but for manpower, they would suffice. So between 1831 to 1872, about 3,000 Africans were recruited to serve in the Dutch colonial army from Elmina to Batavia, which is now Jakarta, the then capital of the Netherlands East Indies. After all this was done, some returned to the Gold Coast who were given land to settle behind the Omina Castle, which today is still known as Java Hill. After the long period of serving, others had established families and decided to settle in the East Indies. Their descendants became known as the Belanda Hitam, the Black Dutchmen. When Indonesia gained independence, most Indo-Africans chose repatriation to the Netherlands. This group later found their way to Ghana, and to keep the story of the Belanda Hitam alive, an initiative for a permanent exhibition was proposed which gave birth to the Java Museum in 2002. One of the many benefits of this history and relationship with Netherlands and Indonesia is seen in our batik and textile production industry we currently have. There is so much more to see in person in the Java Museum, so if you get the chance to visit, don't hesitate. After the history lesson at the Java Museum, we headed over to Kosa Beach to have lunch. I got no issues, it's kinda nice. Like running water into a paradise. Got no drama, feels like we arrived. Picture perfect, it don't exist. But when I'm with you, don't have to question it. After lunch, we played a game of the tongue, enjoyed a beach walk, and headed back to Lemon Beach. I never thought I would find someone to love like that Like that, like that I like that We be left to be cry to keep our love intact Take a ride, turn on back so we can save on gas I never thought I would find someone to love like that Like that, like that I like we Overall, I'd say this was a trip well worth it For most of these places I've heard complaints especially about how excruciatingly long food orders take. So I'd say if you're a guest, order your meals way ahead of time, and that shouldn't be a problem. Our car had no issues making it back to Accra this time. And that's it for our very first episode traveling as a family in this series, Travel With Us. Catch you in the next one.